we got PV equal to NRT and we can replace pressure with the expression we got. So this becomes 2 by 3 N but the by V and this V gets cancelled off and we are left with this. The total number of molecules and the number of moles, if we divide them, what we really get from this expression, that is n by the Avogadro's number, this becomes equal to n. So n can be replaced with n times the Avogadro's number. From that, we get 2 by 3 Na into half mv square equal to rt. From this, we can get the expression for T. We have something of this form here and we know that the Boltzmann constant K is equal to R by the Avogadro's number. So this is going to be equal to, the temperature is going to be equal to 1 by 3, sorry 2 by 3 into 1 by K into half m v square. From this expression, we can infer that the kinetic energy of molecules depend on temperature. This also implies energy of gas depends on temperature. This temperature is the absolute temperature. From this, if we want to find out the expression of kinetic energy in terms of temperature and some known constants, we get that half mv square is going to be equal to 3 by 2 kt. This can be expanded into half mvx square plus half mvy square plus half mvz square and this can be expanded to half kt plus half kt plus half kt. We can very well see that if we start comparing each of these terms separately, what we arrive at is back to our original discussion of law of equipartition of energy. So for one mole, this is for one molecule. If we have one mole, we have half capital M Vx square being equal to half Rt. We have just multiplied this and this with Na, that is the Avogadro's number. By this logic, then for translational energy of a gas molecule or the molecules of a gas, for translational energy, we have this, this is for one mole, hence the degrees of freedom in translation are going to be 3. From this, let us find a very widely used quantity known as the root mean square velocity. V RMS is nothing but the under root of the square mean velocity which is V square. So V square from the expression we found out was nothing but 3 kT 
by m. Therefore, V RMS is going to be 3 kT by m. This is one expression for V RMS. Now, the energy that we found out, half mv square, is basically half mass per unit volume times the velocity. Therefore, we can write mass per unit volume as density. By this logic, we can replace this entire thing with, if we use this formula, rho is equal to pm by rt, if we use this formula and this here, we get also we need to replace k with this and we have to know that small m is going to be nothing but capital M by Na. Using these three and this, knowing this, we replace this and from there we get VRMS equal to root 3P by rho. From this, we can also get this to be as this quantity. So these are the three expressions for the root mean square velocity. Let us solve a small question on this. We need to prove that the pressure of an ideal gas is 2 by 3 times the translational kinetic energy per unit volume. This is what we need to prove. We know that E is equal to half mv square. This m here is basically the mass per unit volume. From this or say if we look at the RMS speed of a gas VRMS this is equal to root V square. From this, we say that V square is equal to 3P by rho. If we put it back here, and we know that M is the entire mass per unit volume, this becomes equal to the density, we know all this, and we put it back in this equation, we see that E is equal to half into rho into 3p by rho. From this we can say that p is equal to 2e by 3. This proves our statement.